I'm back with another funnel bolt landing page builder video and previously we talked about how to change icons how to preview uh, in desktop mobile tablet how to save project and how to redo your changes uh, how to change the images icons all that great stuff so now we're gonna actually get into the settings of each uh, section here so we're gonna come in here and we can do crazy stuff like change this background image to whatever we want so we're actually gonna come in here let's say I don't like that one but I want a picture of the city so all I have to do is click this or click the image that you want to upload here click apply and then hit apply down here and there it is and so there's a few things we can do with this uh, messing with these settings might give you a more desirable um, design look so we're gonna hit auto here and it's gonna repeat in the background there like okay yeah I kinda like that I kinda like that but what if it wasn't fixed let's let's go ahead and hit scroll here let's hit apply yeah I like that better I, you know I don't want it to move when I go down the page okay so yeah we can do stuff like that or we can repeat the image tile across the whole thing like this we can repeat it up like along the y-axis along the x-axis no we don't repeat it at all it's just in the center um, so we're gonna go ahead and leave it on the repeat here uh, we can also have an animation so whenever the site loads or you come across the section it's gonna have an animation that goes with it uh, so you can choose to have it fade in you can have it fade in up you can have it fade in up big I mean, there's a ton in here. You can see all of them. Scroll down, pick the one that you like best, mess around with them. So we're going to go ahead and pick flip in from y-axis. And so we're going to go ahead and animation delay in milliseconds. We're going to do 1,000 milliseconds. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply here. Boom. And that's what it would look in when it flips from the y so let's actually let's make this duration a little longer so boom and that's how it's gonna look so maybe you're happy with that maybe you're not for now we're just gonna leave it and then that brings us to our final tab within the section settings which is the background overlay so maybe you're like well that that image is kinda bright okay that's fine so we can change the transparency back here of how dark or you know how bright how dark we want the color to be over the background image so let's say hmm let's say I want like a black maybe like a darker overlay over this so I'm gonna go ahead and bring my cursor down in here to like where it's blackish uh, then we're gonna go ahead and increase it a little bit up here and once we're happy with that you can just click out of the color thing um, and hit apply and you see how it covered the back there so that makes the text a lot easier to read and you'll probably be using that a bunch so super useful super unique also you can add padding to the top and bottom of the section let's go ahead and just throw in a big number here so you can see it so that threw in 40 from the top so that pushed these sections down so let's go ahead and change it back so you can see what it actually did here and boom they're moved back to their original position so yeah there's a bunch of cool settings to play with around in here um, it's awesome and let's say I didn't have an image in here so and let's say I just wanted a background color or actually let's go back to my example where we didn't repeat it at all so I want this image in here okay it's by itself back there well maybe I want to throw some blue back in there maybe that's hard to see with the uh, background overlay we have let's lighten that up a bit oh my <laughs> I think the background color changed on me here there we go hit apply boom our background color is blue and we still have our image back there so it's really that simple so once we have it how we like it uh, I'm gonna hit apply again here just to make sure Go ahead up here, hit save project, and there we go. And that is how you mess with the section settings within the Funnel Bullet landing page builder.